Uh, hey YouTube, um, today I'm just gonna do a pretty brief tutorial on how to put or how to hack an iPhone or an iPod Touch with any software. Okay, so first you have to um, download the Ponage tool right here. This is Ponage tool. The, you have to download the Ponage tool software, and to do that, you can either you just go to the description. I will have two links, one for PC users and one for Mac users. Um, I will just be showing you this on the Mac, but it's basically the same for the PC. Just a few um, different steps. So um, when you click on the uh, mega upload link for you Mac users, um, it'll come up with this. Um, page and you just have to wait 45 seconds if you are not a premium user and just press regular download and it should download but for PC users you'll have to go to the iPhone dev team website well I'll put that link in the description too and you'll just have to download the software from there you could use Ponage tool which is I, I would um, recommend Ponage tool or you could download quick Pwn, but I would recommend Ponage tool because you can change the boot logo, so instead of the Apple logo, you can have whatever else you want in there. And yeah, so when you download it, it'll come up with a file. Um, for Mac, it'll be Ponage Tool 2.2.dmg. I'm not sure what it will be for PCs, but I do know that when you download it and open it up, it'll come up with this file, Ponage Tool. For Okay, so now I'm on the uh, camera, and once you have the um, software downloaded, you would you would want to take your iPod, or for me, I have an iPod Touch or iPhone, and plug it into the USB drive. Okay, so now we're back on the computer, and. Once you get to the computer and you have your iPod plugged in, iTunes should automatically pop up. Um, I've set mine so it doesn't. But once it automatically pops up, just quit it and open up the Ponage Tool application. Um, it'll For Max, it'll say, this is an application you downloaded from the internet, blah, blah, blah. Just say open. And it should open up this right here. Um, yeah, I mean, you could just, you, if you want to, you could press um, simple mode. Um, but that doesn't allow you to put any uh, boot logos on it, if you like. Like, when you turn it on instead of the Apple sign, it doesn't allow you to do any of that. So, I'm just going to go to expert mode. Um, you choose whichever one you have plugged in. So, like, here for just the iPhone regular 2G. And click here for the regular, or just the iPhone 3G. And then, since I have the iPod Touch, I'll click on the iPod Touch. Um... Once you click on whichever one it is, um, it'll start browsing for the IPSW, or it'll look, the application will look for it itself. If it can't find the software, you may have to download it. Um, I will probably put that in the, in the description too, but if you have the iPod, you should have the software. And it takes a couple minutes. Okay. So right here, it came up with this um, iPod uh, uh, 1 2.2 5G77. Um, you will just click on whatever software you'd like to alter or hack. And you just press it and click the arrow. And so in expert mode, you get this menu here. And you can choose what installer packages 
to your packages you won't have to worry about that or any custom packages but if you'd like to you just click on custom logo click on the arrow and you can choose what boot logo it is but I don't know if you can I don't think you can see my mouse but it says PNG files in RGB or grayscale format with alpha channel and dimension 320 by 480 pixels so anything that doesn't have that um, the dimensions or an alpha channel you will not be able to use it but just search it up on Google some of them will work some of them won't just make sure they're a PNG file I'm not gonna be putting one on right now so then you press build and press the arrow and it'll say save custom IPSW file um, just save it as what it says right now and save it to wherever you would like and it will start building like this it'll have all these things going into a box um, depending on like how much room you have on your um, computer this could take long a long time might might take a long time so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and as you can see it has finished um, creating the custom IPSW file um, it, it says here has your iPod touch been pwned before or does it have the pineapple logo and most of yours if you haven't already done it before you would just click no so I'm gonna click no because I am just gonna show you guys you will click no and yeah it will say, tell you to turn off the okay so after you click no it's gonna um, tell you to turn off the device I'll do that right now um, there will be directions on the pony tool application and it'll tell you like what to do and everything but I've just it's just too much clutter so um, you hold down the power button right there and the home button down here for 10 seconds so just hold it down and now even though there's a black screen it's in DFU mode it's like a special recovery mode so and so once it goes into DFU mode um, you just have to press it'll come up with this and you won't be able to do anything so you have to press for I'm not sure what it is for um, PCs I think it's shift click on restore but for uh, Macs it is option click on restore and it'll pull this up and you look for the what well, your saved custom IPS the ISP ah, IPSW and see this is the 5G77 2.2 custom restore and you just hit open and when you hit open it'll just say extracting software and um, it should do its thing and yeah so there you have it after that you'll have everything downloaded all the Cydia and installer applications um, if you had any problems just um, comment on my videos I'll try to help you to my best of my abilities or um, and if there's any apps you want to know how to um, put on or like how to get um, free Play, paid apps, I could um, make a video on that. Just comment me. Okay? Thanks.